Say hello to the beautiful broad-winged hawk. BBRR's broad-winged hawk came to us in the winter of 2016. She was found with injuries from a vehicle collision and unfortunately can no longer fly 100% and she's blind in one eye. As a result, she cannot return to the wild. She has adjusted well to captive life now and has turned out to be a great teaching bird. When people first meet her, they are often surprised by her small size. Weighing in at just under one pound, Broadwings are medium-sized raptors in the Budio genus. They are called broad-winged hawks because of their long, wide wings. The shape and size of those wings are perfect for soaring on thermals and updrafts to help these birds save energy when they fly long distances. The broad-winged hawk is the most common migratory hawk in the eastern United States. We see tens of thousands of these birds every spring at Braddock Bay when they're traveling through the area to their breeding grounds in the north. In the winter, most of them are in Central and South America, so they travel very far. Broad-winged hawks often form large groups during migration season called kettles. Kettles can be made up of anywhere from just a few birds to a few hundred. They ride a thermal, a column of warm air, circling to the top, then streaming off to find another. This up and down swirling motion resembles a bubbling kettle. Even though broad wings are very numerous during migration, they are not as easy to find during the nesting season. They are somewhat secretive and prefer denser forest for cover. They often build a nest near a pond or a streamer where they can add amphibians and reptiles to their diet of rodents. Adult broad-winged hawks, like our bird, can be identified by the rufous-colored barring in their chest, wide black and white tail bands, dark brown backs, and clean whitish underwing feathers with a thick dark outline along the trailing edge. One of our broad-wing's favorite things to do is to catch the sun on those wings to help her feathers grow strong and stay clean. Our broad-wing is a female though we did not always think that was the case. This species shows identical coloring for both males and females, but typically, as with most raptors, males are smaller than females. Because of the smaller size of this bird, we suspected it was a male, until the spring of 2020 when she laid two eggs. Now we know for sure she is a female. The broad-winged hawk population seems to be stable, if not growing, in some areas. That does not mean it is immune to the environmental threats such as deforestation, particularly on their wintering grounds. Long-term migration monitoring at hawkwatch sites like Braddock Bay contributes to the understanding of this species' survival. If you've enjoyed meeting this incredible bird and would like to support its care and the programs of BBRR, please consider becoming a member or making a donation through our website at bbrr.org.